Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third and final makeover video in this mini series where we have completely transformed our three boys bedrooms into a functional and customized space for each of them and of course we are doing it on a budget. Today we are going to be working on our youngest son Noah's bedroom and as you can see we are starting out with a very blank slate but they were not always this simple. About a month or so after we moved into our home we painted each of their bedrooms this simple off-white color because originally they were painted crazy bright colors that really needed to be toned down. Luke's bedroom was aqua, Liam's was pink, and Noah's was purple, complete with a chandelier. So we went ahead and neutralized them a bit and gave them simple function like a dresser and a bed. But today we are going to be giving Noah's bedroom so much added function as well as customizing it to his style and interest, which just happens to be Star Wars. So let the magic begin. To start out in Noah's bedroom, we are just clearing off his one surface, which is his dresser, and then we are going to be moving his dresser to the other side of the bedroom because just like Liam's bedroom, we will be rearranging his furniture in here and also be giving him his own unique accent wall. If you saw our vlog last week on our Kyle and Amanda channel, you saw that little sneak peek, but if you didn't see it, we are just jumping right into the accent wall preparation. So for this wall, we are painting the top half black and then leaving the bottom portion in this off-white color and then similar to Liam's bedroom we are going to be adding a board all the way across the wall to separate the two colors and make it look a bit more custom and we also have another little addition to this accent wall but I'll share that in just a bit but here we are just figuring out the exact height of what we wanted to paint it down to just so we can get a better idea of where everything is going to lay. All right, we are going to jump right into things. We figured out the tape line of where we want to make like our accent wall. We are going to do similar to what we did on Liam, but we're actually gonna add in a stencil on top of the paint and we're going to be painting the top half. It'll end up kind of looking like Star Wars or at least I feel like the stencil looks a little Star Wars-y. Noah really wanted a dark wall and because he doesn't have the most lighting in his room, I didn't wanna do a full dark wall. So that's why we ended up doing like half dark, half light. But while we're doing that, Kyle is going to go downstairs, shut off the breakers, and he is going to be doing the same thing that we did in the other boys' room. So he's going to replace this fan with the new one. And also, Noah has one of these gorgeous chandeliers as well. <laughs> so we are going to replace that one with the moonlight, and then I'm gonna be painting while he's doing that. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is my ringtone for Kyle. <laughs> Hello. Hello? What was that? Hello, is this on my back? <laughs> okay, everything's off in here. Okay, all right. Okay. All right, love you. Love you, bye. So 
so I just wanted to take a minute to share this makeover series giveaway with y'all. So in this series, we are going to be picking two winners to receive $50 cash or a $50 gift card to the store of your choice. This is international, so no matter where you live, you can definitely be entered, but all you have to do to be entered is be a subscriber on my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway, and then go ahead and like and comment on these three videos in the series, which I will have all three of the boys' bedroom makeover videos linked down below so you can find them easily along with all of the rest of the info for this giveaway. I am so thankful to be able to give back to you guys, especially during this crazy time in the world, and I am just really so grateful for you guys, and I really hope that you guys know that. But anyway, be sure to enter, and good luck. So this wall originally was going to be fully black with the stencil all the way throughout it and I was really struggling with insomnia a few weeks ago and while I couldn't sleep I just kept thinking an all black wall is going to make his bedroom way too dark so I really needed to figure out a different option. So around 2 a.m. one night, which is sometimes where the best ideas come from, I made up some bedroom mock-ups and kind of visualized some different options that we had and that's how we ended up deciding on breaking up the dark wall into a dark and a light side which kind of works perfectly for the whole Star Wars theme. And then I wanted to just add the stencil only on the top half. But here are the mock-ups that I came up with that one night just to help me visualize the different options we had. So I would love to hear what you think. Would you guys have opted for the same thing that we went for or would you have gone in a different direction? Not thinking twice in my this time, although I know you're all I want. How could I crave something so bad? My sweaty palms reveal a warning I should hear But I don't care, you drive me mad I know the truth and run to you So we could drive away You'll hear me say everything is gonna be okay I don't need nobody else I'm so to you Try to stop me but I'm under your spell Can't help myself It was making me a little bit nervous to paint our off-white walls super black. It was just such a huge difference and I just kept feeling like I really hope this turns out how I'm expecting and that way I don't have to repaint these walls because painting over really dark walls takes a ton of time and a ton of paint but thankfully the black really ended up looking so cool and I'm really happy we did end up going with painting only half of the wall dark just since I feel like painting the whole wall really dark would have made Noah's bedroom a bit too dark and just taken so much of the natural daylight away since that light wouldn't have been able to bounce off that wall as well. All right, we have the wall painted. I am going to need to do another coat. Hopefully just one. We did use a different paint brand this time. It was recommended to us. Not sure that I like it as much. It just doesn't seem as thick. So I'm curious how fast it's gonna dry, but I am liking the very beginning of this wall. There's a lot more that needs to happen, but I'm liking how it's looking so far. And then Kyle has just been doing some things while I'm painting over here. So he took down the chandelier. He is working on the electrical. No shocks this time. <laughs> Hilarious. 
But you guys should remember it wasn't his fault. It was not. I just, I literally like five minutes ago saw the count on the, it's not my fault. But just, it wasn't my fault. So I just want to make sure. <laughs> anyway, so he's working on this electrical box thing. And then electrical while we, yeah, obviously I'm not the electrician in the family at all. But while we let this dry, Kyle's going to start putting up this fan or taking down this one, putting up the new fan. And then also soon we'll put up the move. We have done so many of these makeovers over the year. So at this point, we've really learned to multitask as much as possible. And on this day, that meant Kyle was working on the fan and the new electrical while I was finishing up painting the second coat of paint. And those little things really do make a huge difference in just how quickly we're able to tackle these sometimes time consuming projects. So the reasons we wanted to change out the fans in all the boys' bedrooms to these more modern ones was actually for a few reasons. One was of course because they looked much nicer and they fit the aesthetic of the rooms better, but also because I'm sure that these fans were original to the house and they actually didn't run the best. They were pretty loud, they were not always reliable on how well they would work, and in Luke's bedroom, his actually stopped working altogether a bit before his makeover. So it was both an aesthetic and a functional choice to swap out the fans, but either way, we love them. Finally, it was time to put the moonlight up. If you've seen the other makeovers, you know that we put these in all through the boys' bedrooms and we just love them so, so much. But I wanted to wait to put them up until we painted the black on the wall. And while that was a good idea, I totally wasn't thinking that we were still going to need to paint the stencil on the wall. And that would have been way easier to do without the moonlight in the way. But as always, we worked through it and it worked out. All right, it is the next day. We had to cut filming short yesterday because it just started storming outside. And the next step was going to be like prepping the wood, prepping the curtain rod, things like that. I couldn't do the stencil or anything they're planning to do up here yet because I really wanted the paint to dry and kind of cure overnight. But this is the stencil we're going to be using. There, can you see that? 
it's gonna look so cool or at least in my mind it is i'm really hoping it'll turn out good but we do not have that stencil paint so we have to run out and grab that really quick and then once we get back we are hoping to get everything done in this room so we need to do the stencil do the wood do the curtain rod kyle's going to be building like a little side table for noah since his bed is going to be moving right here and then we'll go ahead and like decorate and add all the finishing touches so there is a lot a lot to get done today especially because we're hoping to get done by the time noah gets out of school or like shortly after so that we can reveal his room to him and he will no longer be kicked out of this space so let's go ahead and get into it We are back, we got the paint. We ended up going with this Benjamin Moore Regal Select because it is super thick and that way hopefully it will kind of minimize the errors. And then we got this like gray color and we actually got it in a satin or in their case a pearl finish, but basically satin because this is eggshell and I'm hoping that it will not bleed through. Here's our cats just interested in what's going on already. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Wish me luck. Ah, pretty nervous about this. This is kind of what we're going for right there. I think that'll look kind of Star Wars-y. You guys, I was so nervous about this stencil. When I stenciled my sister's guest room in the Budget Boho Makeover series, I ended up using paint markers and those worked really, really well. It gave us super clean lines, but it also took a really long time. And I felt like because the stencil that we were using in Noah's bedroom was way more in depth with so many tiny little spots, it just would have taken forever to do that. And also I felt like it wasn't as important to have perfectly clean lines in Noah's bedroom because I was choosing to do a gray paint over the black versus black over straight up white paint. So there was a lot less contrast. And then with that, it gives you a little more wiggle room on imperfections. And then there was also way more randomization in the stencil, whereas my sister's was more of a chevron look and it was way more structured. So for those reasons, I opted to just paint the stencil on, but it also just made me so nervous when I was first starting out on it. You guys will have to let me know if you've ever used a stencil for a wall in your home before, and if so, did you paint it on, or did you use paint markers, or did you do something totally different? Maybe there's another option that I didn't even know about. Either way, let me know if you used a stencil and how you applied it. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared all right, that took way longer than you know you ever expect, but I love how it looks. It looks so cool. There are a few spots I'm going to just like lightly touch up, but I want to wait, make sure everything has time to really dry. So at this point, we have like one hour until the boys get home, so we are going to just keep going on. We have to go prep some of the wood for this wall and also for the side table Kyle's going to build and then also prep the curtain rod and the closet handles. And then we will start kind of like putting the room together after that. So 
let's head outside. Once we got outside, we got everything ready to prep three different things. One was our DIY curtain rod, as well as two different boards. One was going to be for separating the light and dark sides of Noah's wall, and the other is going to be for a DIY nightstand that we are going to be building. So Kyle pulled up his truck. We measured how long we wanted the curtain rod, which is made from a three quarter inch metal conduit pipe. Then he just used his tool to cut it down and grind the edges to make it smooth. And once the pipe was cut down and prepped, we moved on to the wood pieces. For those, we just measured the length of Noah's wall and cut the wood down to that. And then for the side table piece, we cut it to the length that we needed and then went ahead and spray painted the pipe, a matte black as usual. And we also took this time to go ahead and give those old gold closet handles new life with a brand new coat of paint as well. The next step was to sand the wood down smooth and then give it a coat of stain. And I realized partway through this process that I had changed back into my completely white t-shirt and I debated going back inside and changing back in my paint shirt, but I decided to live on the edge, play it a little risky and keep wearing it. And I just tried to be extra, extra careful and keep it clean while I stain the wood. For the staining process, we actually started tag teaming this during our last project in Liam's bedroom and it worked out so nicely to have me paint on the stain and then Kyle followed right behind just wiping it off as I went. It's really nice when you can create mini assembly lines to make things go a lot faster and a lot smoother. But here we are just using the water-based stain that I showed you earlier. This is my favorite stain ever. I feel like it's very forgiving and I just love the color and how simple it is to work with. Isn't it amazing what a difference adding this wood piece onto the walls makes? It really adds a natural brightness, which is so helpful with a dark accent wall, and it also gives a very customized look. But the secret is the board only cost us $8. Next on the list is building Noah a little side table. So we are actually going to be moving his bed to under this wall and 
he just doesn't have a lot of space for a side table especially if we don't want to like push his bed right up to the wall we kind of want to give it a little bit of space so Kyle's just trying to find a stud right here and then once we do we ordered these like really heavy duty meaty brackets off of Amazon so we will figure out where we can put these like where they'll fit into studs and then go from there So I really didn't want to push Noah's bed right up to the corner, but I also wanted to give him a designated spot for his alarm clock and his watch charger, and there really just wasn't enough room for a traditional nightstand, or at least not one that wouldn't feel bulky or in the way. So this option made it super sleek, and again, it helped us stay in budget just by making it ourselves. I originally had the idea to make a freestanding one that would sit right next to his bed, and then Kyle had the idea to actually put brackets on it and attach it to the wall, and I really loved this just because it made it a lot more permanent, and it also was a lot easier to put it up on the wall than it would be to make legs for it. These DIY curtain rods are the ones that we have been making for years and we've shared them with you guys so many times and so many different makeovers, but they come together so simply and they are super inexpensive, all while being super sturdy and looking so nice. And as usual, we just push the curtains right up to the ceiling and that gives the illusion of your room being taller and bigger than it is. And the curtains also add a softness to the space. So we never skip out on curtains when finishing a room, even if they are only being used for looks and not function, like in this room, for example, because we do have the blinds. But you may also notice we did leave a small open space between the corner and the nightstand. And that was very intentional because we wanted the curtains to be able to hang straight down without being pushed out away from the wall because of the nightstand. So right above Noah's bed, we wanted to add his name in these bulky wood and metal letters that we got from Hobby Lobby, and we love the look of them. They felt so perfect for the space because the metal really tied in with the Star Wars theme and the stencil, and the wood actually tied into some of his furniture as well as the wood on the accent wall right below. And like I said, we did pick these up from Hobby Lobby. If you are new to Hobby Lobby, make sure that you shop their sales. About every other week, things go on sale, so chances are if it's not on sale this week, wait a few days and it will go half off next week. Finally, things are really starting to come together now that we have the accent wall done, the curtains and side table all finished, and we are starting to move the bed and dresser to the spots where they're going to stay. We ended up loving the new way that we rearranged his furniture and it really just ended up making his room feel way more open since you no longer just walked right into his bed when you walked in the bedroom and it also allowed for a larger floor area for playing since he is still at that very young age where he plays with toys all the time. All right, we are getting so close to being done. 
The next thing that I wanted to do is actually have like some little bookshelf things right here. Otherwise the space is just so wasted. It's right below the light and otherwise no have like nowhere to really keep his book. So I found these little bookshelves and then I bought this because I wanted to put it below the bookshelves and then put like some S hooks so that he could either hang costumes, which he loves or hats, which he also wears. We were feeling like that would get really cluttered and like crowded over here. So we tested this and if you play it just perfectly like they fit just like they're meant to be so okay this is upside down but just imagine this flip and on the bottom one we have this connected to the bottom of the bookshelf and then you can have like the best of both so you can have still two bookshelves and costume rack or whatever yeah, so worked out really nice yeah we're gonna go and like even the middle like they just match perfectly <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put that up and then get like the rest of the decor stuff up These shelves as well as the little S hook bar was found on Amazon and they ended up being the perfect height for him to be able to store some books right in his bedroom and he also has loved having his books easily accessible to him. Now we still have more books outside of the boys bedrooms but I really have loved being able to have a space for all their personal books in each of their rooms and this spot in the room was otherwise not being used at all so I really love being able to squeeze function into areas like that. We are getting so close to the end and that means we are hanging up some of the wooden shelves that will go above his dresser. Now these are purely for decorating and for looks, but I really love the wooden shelves because it makes it so simple to change out the style of decor that you use in a room. And since he is so young, I want to make this bedroom really something that can be easily changed as he grows with very minimal effort because today we are putting in a lot of effort and making a lot of changes. So at this time, we are going to be making this a Star Wars theme room, but he's also talked with us about having a Steelers room at some point and and a good example of changing this room up as he grows would be to simply take down the Star Wars decor and put up some Steelers and football items and we could even go as far as painting the bottom half of his accent wall a yellow color to make that wall yellow and black like the Steelers but once you start thinking like that you can realize how easy it can be to transform spaces as long as you set them up this way and not doing something over the top like painting a Star Wars mural on the wall or adding in specialty lighting or getting a decor specific bed like a race car bed. You know what I mean? So instead of doing all of that, we make the shell of the room very neutral and very functional and we add in the theme that he's interested in in very small details. Trust me, if you do it like this, it will save you so much time and money over the years, but you're still going to have that huge impact.
One of the very last things to do before we finish up is to add his favorite books. So while Noah was patiently waiting outside of his room for us to finish this up, I had him go through all of our books and pick out which ones he really wanted in his bedroom. And even though this really wasn't a huge deal, he was just so excited about it. And that made me really happy that I decided to add these bookshelves in his room. So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for, I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life That I'd be better I cannot believe this is Noah's bedroom now. It was so simple and plain before and with a very minimal function, but now he has tons of added function with new lighting, bookshelves, a place to put his coats and hats, and even a new nightstand. And of course, there were lots of fun things added into this too, like we added the chalkboard, we added those little Star Wars decor pieces, we added new bedding, and of course, the super custom accent wall. I just love so many of the small details that we added in, but when you bring them all together, that's where the magic happens. I really hope you all have enjoyed this mini series of the boys' new bedroom makeovers. If you haven't seen our other two sons' bedrooms, I will have them linked down below like I mentioned earlier, but I really hope they all give you some different ideas and left you feeling very inspired to tackle whatever unfinished area you have in your own home. And now that you've hopefully seen all three makeovers, let me know which one is your top favorite. And without further ado, let me show you Noah's new bedroom reveal. Just keep your eyes closed. Keep them closed. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, open them up. I'm trying to roll it like that. <laughs> <Do> you? <laughs> you cut. So go ahead, check it out, see what you can find. Now, finally, finally! Ah! I'm telling you, why now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And did you notice you have a side table now? Dad built you a side table. How awesome! <laughs> Wake up. Right there. Then right there and look you. Wait, if you just touch it, all of it goes. Yeah. I like the set. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. Do you see how these little marks? It looks a little nice. bit like Star Wars. Oh, yeah, I really like <laughs> What do you think of your new room, buddy? I like it. You like it? Is it your favorite room so far? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The favorite thing I mostly like about this is that. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to sleep in this. <laughs> now you can either put your hat here or you can hang up your costumes. I'll do that. Okay. Well, I was looking how you guys put books in all the rooms. Yeah. When you make noise, it turns off. Hello. Hello. La, 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 la. Wow. So, no. what do you think about this room? I, I love it. You do? <laughs> love fall, love the moon, I love the name, I, I love it. I just love you, <laughs> Thank you. No. You're welcome, buddy. Oh, you're so welcome. 
Mm. But, I don't only like it, I love it. You know what, you have your mood for a nightlight too. I know. Isn't that awesome? No, so so is this. Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh my gosh, you guys, Noah's reaction made everything worth it. I love how much he loved his new room. He told us so many times for days how thankful he was and how excited he was to have his new room. But once again, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We are so incredibly grateful for you. And before you go, be sure to get entered into that giveaway. It will only be open for a couple more weeks, but there is still time to get entered. And if you're still looking for some more makeover videos, whether you need some new ideas or you just want to watch some different spaces be completely transformed, I'm going to link our makeover playlist right here on the very right side of the screen. So go ahead and tap on that and you will have hours of makeovers at your fingertips. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you right back here soon for another video. Bye guys.